Hi. In case you missed it, I already did a Blu-ray haul video for November, but within November is this thing that we all like called Turkey Day. After the recovery of the food coma, there is of course Black Friday, and with Black Friday comes massive deals on movies. Well, other things too, obviously, but movies for me are the only deals that are really all that important. This is an unnecessarily long way of saying that I bought a lot of movies for Black Friday. Now to be completely transparent, I wasn't there at midnight at Best Buy, mostly because they didn't open till 5 a.m. But anyways, I was not there actually on Black Friday. I went like, I think a Tuesday or Wednesday, the week of Thanksgiving. And also there's a couple movies in here that don't even apply to Black Friday, but there's still movies that I bought in between the last video and this one, so why not include them? With all that being said, let's get into my 2022 Black Friday Blu-ray haul. It's a lot of words. The first movie I'm gonna mention, I actually mentioned at the end of my last video, but I had only pre-ordered it at the time. Now I have it physically, so I'm gonna show it to you. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, my favorite Thanksgiving movie ever. And among the very few Thanksgiving movies that I actually know of. This is the brand new 4K release. It obviously has the movie on 4K, but it also has a couple of special features and an entire disc titled Lost Luggage, which consists of deleted and extended scenes from the movie that have recently been found in John Hughes, the director's archive. I intend to do a review of this disc and I actually have it written out. I plan to put it up Thanksgiving week, didn't happen, couldn't tell you why. Procrastination, family time, and Thanksgiving. So, you know, I might review this for the Christmas season. I haven't decided yet, but there it is. And that's a massive glare. There we go, there it is. Okay, now I'm gonna get into the things that I actually bought that were on sale at Best Buy the week of Thanksgiving slash Black Friday. First up is Dune. I'm gonna have to rewatch this movie, especially, is Dune 2 supposed to come out next year? Or is it two years away? I don't know. I will certainly be rewatching it before Dune 2 releases. I thought it was really well made. It's a very, you know, I don't know if sophisticated is the right word, but it's a very fancy film. Very otsy fotsy. A weird accent. I thought it was pretty entertaining, which is an important factor in watching a movie. But yeah, it was for a super cheap price and it's on 4K. So why not? And actually, here's the thing. I think I've mentioned it here before. I prefer to get Blu-rays because that's what I'm you know, currently set up to watch. With that being said, Dune had the Blu-ray available in the Blu-ray case, but I couldn't help but notice just how aesthetically right this looks in the 4K casing. I mean, look at that. It's just, it looks good. I mean, I still have the plastic on it, so it's glary and stuff, but you get the point. Next up is another 4K. I would have gotten this on Blu-ray, but I don't actually think they had it. I don't, I didn't see it at least. But honestly, it's another one where aesthetically it just works to have it in the black and white 4K casing. Yeah, Edge of Tomorrow, Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, sci-fi, time loop. What more is there to say? And like I said, aesthetically, the black and white casing, it's just really nice, it fits. Next up, I already have the first one and the third one. I've been dying to get the second one. I pushed it off way too long. John Wick Chapter 2. I officially own all three on Blu-ray. So yeah, I needed to finish the collection and it's John Wick, so what else is there to say? Next up, it's a Christopher Nolan movie. It is mind-bendingly good and just straight up mind-bending. And it's Tenet. It really sucks because the digital code expiration date is passed. I'm still gonna try it. So yeah, I don't really have much to say about that. I got Tenet though. And next up is a Blu-ray that I just now realized the label is a little too far up. Anyways, this is actually a pretty good film to watch during the fall. Knives Out. But yeah, this is another movie that I've waited way too long to get, but I'm a procrastinator. What can I say? This next one, and this is actually the last one that I got in store with the Black Friday deal. Not many people seem to enjoy it all that much. And I guess I can see why, but Uncharted. I am not a fan of the artwork that they chose for blu the Blu-ray. But yeah, why'd I get it? I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a fun time. Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg, they worked well together. I was able to relax and enjoy this movie, have fun with it. It's not a perfect movie, but it was still fun enough to, you know, purchase and watch. But I will say, the artwork, I'm not a fan. All right, we got ourselves another 80s movie. This is probably one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Safe to say it's one of my favorite movies of like ever, but specifically out of the decade of the 80s, this is among my favorites, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the Bueller Bueller edition. I mostly just have it so I can watch Ferris Bueller anytime I feel like, because that is like the feel good movie and laugh your butt off comedy. But also there's some pretty cool special features on here that I'm looking forward to digging into. It's Ferris Bueller, who doesn't like Ferris Bueller? And that is all for the Best Buy purchases. However, I did go ahead and pick up a couple at my local dollar store. I usually don't do that, but I saw these, I wouldn't mind owning them. So I thought, eh, you know, 
whatever. They were only five bucks. First one is American Sniper. I haven't watched this movie in years, but I remember it being a hard hitter. I remember Bradley Cooper doing an absolutely amazing job and it was only five bucks. So I thought, yeah, why not? And last but not least, a movie that actually kind of gives me some winter Christmas vibes. Probably helps that it came out on Christmas in 2015. That's Joy. It has a solid cast. I wouldn't mind rewatching it here soon. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for my November Black Friday Blu-ray haul. It's probably going to be a while before I buy even more Blu-rays, but I'm kind of starting to run out of space here. So organizing this is going to be an issue. So yeah, that's my Black Friday Blu-ray haul. But now it's your turn. Let me know if you got anything for Black Friday. If you did get any new movies, let me know in the comments below. And while you're scrolling, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more like it. But most importantly, thank you for watching. Most, most importantly, happy belated Thanksgiving. I hope you had a good one. And most, most, most importantly, that's a new one. Have a great day.